Hello friends, welcome to the new video lectures of Ingenious Academy. This video on hydraulic machines that is turbine, formulae is extension part of my previous video which, has, which, is, which was on the velocity triangle of turbines. So if you haven't seen that video, I suggest you to first refer to my previous video on this turbine and then go for the formulas. To see that video, just click on the link on the top right corner. Okay, let's come to the topic hydraulic machine turbine formulae. Uh, I strictly suggest you not to memorize the formula but to understand the logic behind the formulas. Okay. These are some of the important topics, some of the important formulas that will help you to solve the numericals that will be based on turbines. A first formula is mass of water striking vane per second. This is the velocity triangle that we have seen in my previous video, how to draw this and the logic behind this. Okay, The mass of water striking, striking the vane per second. Now the mass, mass, how, where, from where it is coming, density is equal to mass by volume so mass will be equal to density into volume now density we understood that density here is density and here it is density now volume what will be the unit of volume per second we have talked about so it is meter cube per second okay we can break it as meter per second into meter square this is velocity and this is area we can understand from units meter per second is velocity and meter square is area so this area is the area of the cross section of jet from where the water is coming so this is area that area <coughs> and the velocity the velocity which with the jet striking to the vane which is vr1 which is the relative velocity so from there it is coming vr1 so mass is equal to density into velocity uh, volume Volume we can break it as velocity and area. So here it is coming that density area into velocity. So this is the formula for mass of water striking vane per second. Let's come to the next formula. Force exerted by jet in the direction of motion. Now we have studied that force is mass into acceleration. Okay, And acceleration is the change in velocity. Initial velocity minus final velocity. So initial velocity we will get from inlet triangle and final velocity we will get from the outlet triangle. So initial velocity will be Vr1 in the direction of, underline this, in the direction of motion. So Vr1 in the direction of motion will be Vr1 cos theta. Okay. So mass Vr1 cos theta. And here Vr2 in the direction of, this will be Vr2 cos theta phi okay so this is in the opposite direction to the direction of motion so we can write it as v r 2 cos phi okay like this we can write it as now mass is mass we have seen that rho a v r 1 now v r 1 cos theta will be this and this we can write it as v w 1 minus u 1 minus v r 2 cos phi which will be this this we can write it as Sorry, Vr2 cos phi will be this, which we can write it as Vw2 plus U2. Okay, we can write it like this. And this is minus Vr2 cos theta because it is in opposite direction. Okay, so minus of V. This is one more minus will come here like this. Okay, like this. So it will when we'll open this V R1 bracket V W1 minus U1 and then minus of minus will be open that plus V W2 plus U2. Okay. Now we have seen that U1 is equal to U2, which is equal to U1 is equal to U2, which is equal to U, the velocity of blade. Okay, the velocity of wind. So we can write it as rho a V R1 V W1 plus V W2 as this and this will be cancelled okay now this is only possible when beta is acute angle as shown in this in this diagram okay if beta is 90 degree then vw2 will be zero if beta will be 90 degree okay if beta is obtuse angle then vw1 minus vw2 so this was the formula for four is the force exerted by jet in the direction of motion this can be considered as the derivation for this formula okay 
Our next formula is the work done per second by jet on wind. So work done, work done is force into displacement or we can consider this distance because the direction is linear. Okay. Or we are talking about per second. So per second force into displacement yeah, distance per second is velocity. So force we have studied in previous point this this is force rho a v r1 v w1 plus v w2 okay so force is rho a v r1 v w1 plus v w2 this is the case when beta is acute okay when beta is 90 degree then v w1 when beta is obtuse angle then v w1 plus v w2 okay so we are considering when beta is acute so this will be the force and velocity velocity of we are talking about wind so velocity will be u so this will be the formula when for work done per second by jet on wind now next formula is work done per second per unit mass so work done per second this formula is same work done per second so work done per second per unit mass so divided by mass mass is rho a v r1 okay so this formula is very easy work done per second per unit mass so this formula you will get okay the next and last formula is efficiency of z efficiency can be considered as output upon input so output what we are getting we are getting that output is the work done by jet on wind work done by jet on wind which is this one okay and the initial from where this work is we are getting we are getting this work from the initial kinetic energy of the water that is the outlet at of jet okay the outlet of jet now just see this v1 and here v1 okay here half m v square is the kinetic energy okay here we are taking that velocity v1 because we have to take the outlet velocity of jet not the striking velocity of water on wind okay therefore we are taking v1 and not the vr1 point this this is very important and confusing okay half mass mass is rho a v1 and velocity is v1 square this is the formula for kinetic energy which will come here in the denominator okay so upward is work done per second on wind which is this one and the input input is initial kinetic energy of initial kinetic energy of water from jet which is half mv square mass is rho a v1 and multiplied by v1 square so guys this was the formula this were the some important formula which was on turbine i hope this will help you in solving you the problems see you again